Hey guys, bringing you another computer repair video today, working on an HP laptop here. And I'm gonna be showing you how to fix the problem if you're using your computer and it all of a sudden, seemingly for no reason, powers down and restarts on you. Um, I'm gonna show you how to get into your computer event log and find out exactly what happened at the time it, it restarted. Keep in mind, this is a restart while your computer is on and functioning correctly. If your computer is overheating and then shutting off, and you can tell that it's getting way too hot and that's why it's restarting, look below in the description. That'll be a video link for how to fix an overheating computer. If your computer is restarting during startup, when you hit the power button and it looks like it's going on and then shuts down and restarts, if that's before the logo screen, that startup logo screen, you're gonna to wanna to use the video link below on the computer that won't turn on video. And if it comes in after that initial logo screen and it starts restarting, that's a boot loop issue. So look down at, at the uh, links below in the description for the boot loop fix video. This video is specifically for a computer that powers down and restarts while in use. Um, and that however else it is a healthy working computer. So to start with, I'm gonna take my mouse, I'm gonna go down here to your file explorer. I'm gonna zoom in, let you guys see what I'm doing. If you do get lost at any point in, in this video, uh, feel free to check the frequently asked questions below. And if you don't see your question there, leave me a question as a comment. I'll get back to you a couple times a day at least. So down here, file explorer, we'll go ahead and open that up. Under this PC, I'm gonna right click and hit manage. Up here on the left, Event Viewer, we're gonna drop down that menu. We're gonna to go to Windows Logs right there, drop down that menu. And then under System, we're gonna double click. So this will populate a whole list of events here. Uh, you may see several warnings and several errors. Don't be alarmed by that. Errors in, 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 in the workings of the computers are very frequent. Um, and they often go off without a hitch and they're auto-corrected, so don't freak out over every error. The error we're looking for is gonna coincide with the date and time of when your computer shut off. So we're gonna scroll down, finding a lot of warnings, can't find an error. Seems like this is a pretty good computer. Okay, so let's pretend that this warning is an error. So we'll click on it, <coughs> and it appears down here. So pretending that was an error, because I can't find one, uh, it populates down here a description of the error. What you're looking for as far as the description is something clear like like battery failure or sudden power loss or something to tell you why the computer shut down. If you can't find a clear answer or if you find an answer that you think you understand but you don't know what to do about it, here's what you do. Down here you see event ID with a number, in our case 116. So I'm gonna copy that, event ID 116, and I'm gonna open a browser, and I'm gonna Google it. Event ID, whoops, OD. Event ID, paste 116, enter. So as you scan down through what Google populated, relatively near the top should be something from supportmicrosoft.com, and that's what we're looking for. And this is event ID 116, exactly what we're looking for. So we'll click on that from Microsoft. We'll see what they have to say about it. So right here, there it is. Event ID 116, it gives us our symptoms. Scroll down, it gives us the cause and the workaround. And this is kind of what you're looking for when you put in your event ID for your error. We're looking for what caused it and then a workaround. Sometimes th this will say remedy, um, but whatever this is, it, it's what you do about it. Uh, so just to give you an example of something that I faced in the shop a while ago, I had a computer that was shutting down and restarting seemingly for no reason. I looked it up in my event viewer, couldn't quite figure out what it was saying, so I Googled it, I came to Microsoft.com, and I found out under cause that my computer was shutting down because I had just performed a RAM upgrade and the RAM upgrade was starving my CPU of power and the computer was shutting down. So the workaround down here, 
or the resolution that it gave was to either undo the RAM upgrade and, and, and put the lower RAM back in, or I could set my CPU to low power mode, which I chose to do, and the computer never shut off and restarted for that reason again. So that's how you would use the cause and workaround to help you if you can't get the information you need from the event viewer. So if you have any questions, again, leave them below. Uh, I try to get back to you a couple times a day at least. If this was helpful, please like and share. And if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys.